Hi, this is Rubin Vavaina from A to Z Graphology. Welcome to today's video. And in this one, I will be explaining to you how the letter V represents our mindset on the piece of paper. The letter V represents suddenness and quick change of thought process. Why it represents sudden or quick change, we'll see in the formation itself. There's a formation that goes downwards, a flexor, and suddenly it goes upwards. There is a sharp angle between these two strokes which shows that the thought was going in one direction and suddenly it changed going upwards. In the previous video which we learnt about the letter U, we saw that there is a similar stroke like this and there is a gap before which it climbs up again. Alright, so here what's happening is the same situation but there is patience here. Over here however there is quickness. The letter V represents quick change of thought process. Like when you are looking at this video and you are trying to understand something, you are trying to assimilate the knowledge in your brain, you are trying to get it. That process takes some time and that process is represented by letter U. But while watching this video, you may suddenly remember a friend's handwriting sample. Suddenly you may remember some part of your life, a quick change in your thought process. Something in this video or the previous video may have motivated you to have a bright idea. That sudden change is represented by this letter V. So when there is a concept of patience, that concept is represented by letter U. And the concept of quickness or a sudden change in thought process that is shown by the letter V. There are some people who will write a letter U while replacing the letter V. And some people they want to write a letter V but it looks like a letter U. Let's see what happens when people do it like that. So I am writing the word, a simple word have. Now we know that the letter V is represented over here. This is the correct spelling. Some people in a hurry write like this. Now what's happening is, I want to say H-A-V-E. I'm saying I have, but the V has become blunt. Now when I'm supposed to be sharp and when I'm supposed to be quick in my thought processes, I am relaxing. The letter U formation is not bad, neither letter V formation is bad, but when the letter V is supposed to be coming in a, pay, in a word and it is replaced by letter U, that means where he is supposed to be quick, now he is being slow. Some people write a letter U and they replace it by letter V. Let's take another example. Now this is a word called as mauve. It's a kind of a color. And M-A-U-V-E. Now I know that U comes first and V comes later. Some people write letter V as letter U, which we saw here. Some people write letter U as letter V. So let's take an example. You see what's happening here? I have made the letter U look like letter V and I made the letter V look like letter U. This leads to a lot of misunderstanding and if somebody doesn't know English very well, can you imagine how they will speak this word? They will think that it's H-A-U-E, not H-A-V-E. When people jumble up the letter U and V in the formation, and in the way they write the spelling. This leads to misunderstanding. What is the nature of the misunderstanding? Letter V represents something quick and fast. Letter U represents something slow and something in a more patient manner. There is a misunderstanding when to be slow and when to be fast. At an emotional level, 
letter V may represent anger. Now anger at the base of its formation or the base of its understanding means a sudden change in your thought process. When you get angry, it's a spark of anger. There's a temperament that gets inflated. There's a fire that gets blown up when you get angry. That suddenness is represented like by letter V. I'm not saying the letter V represents anger alone. Anger is there, determination is there, focus is there. There's so many things that can represent sudden change, sudden focus of the twist in the letter formations. But when it's used as a letter U formation, then we are trying to make a person relaxed when he's supposed to be sharp. We are trying to make the person sharp when he's supposed to be relaxed. And that's where the misunderstanding happens. So this is one of the most important things that you take care of when you're writing the letter V. Keep the V sharp. If it is sharp, it allows you to express sharpness. It's not good to be sharp all the time like this. But when there is a time to be sharp, you should. When it's time to learn and relax, you get the opportunity in letter U. You must understand that this letter formation comes very often. See the letter H. Now where do you find the letter V? In the letter H. Here it is. You can find the letter V in letter M. These two blocks. Even in letter N. If you go back a couple of videos, I will taught you the letter M and N. Sometimes the letter N looks like letter U. This is like letter N and some people write it like this. Yes, this looks like a U, but people actually write this as a letter N. When they write quickly, I have written the word none and this N has become like a letter U. Try to think of it. What the letter N means, how its distortion of letter V in it leads to the distortion of the letter M. I know things are getting a bit complicated over here, but graphology is about understanding the human thought process and the human thought process can be very complex. Take your time with graphology. Don't be in a hurry. Take your time to learn gradually and eventually you will come to the sharpness and the quick analysis which is required in graphology. Now let me explain to you some of the other formations that come up in the letter V. The letter V has got its own variations in formation. The own variation in formation shows that the mind can twist itself to represent sharpness on the paper. Sharpness on the paper can be represented in a very tall vertical manner. It can be represented in a more broad open manner. So what are these variation meaning? When you have a sharper, thinner V, it shows that there is extreme quickness and almost hinting towards hasty decision making, hasty change of thought process. Whereas this is over relaxed, overdone, chilled out kind of a reflex action. Both of these may represent a mindset that is requiring its correct situation. If you are in a hurry, if you are doing a lot of work in less time, this is the formation that may come up. If you are on vacation and you have to decide when to have lunch, when you want to quickly go for a swim in the beach or when do you want to have a trek in the mountain, this sudden change of plan is not really urgent but can be taken in a relaxed manner. That is shown in the letter V. So either you can have a normal angle in the letter V, then there is an expanded and of course then there is an extremely thin angle. So today we have learnt about a few formations in the letter V. The letter V represents 
quickness and sudden change. Watch this video along with the letter U video and you will be able to understand when you are supposed to be calm and accept knowledge in a more gradual manner and when the time comes for you to have quickness and sharpness represented by letter V. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked the information and if you found the knowledge useful, please click the like button. If you would like free updates and automatic updates, subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.